A Germy Experiment by Melissa Saunders Perryman. Holiday was one day away, and the students at school could barely wait for the break. But in the meantime, the topic of class was the importance of hygiene and when to wear masks. The teacher said, Bacteria and viruses are small and alive, and in many places these germs can survive. Some live on objects, some float through the air. They can be on your fingers, your phone, or your chair. They enter a body through eyes, mouths, or noses. A cut on your hand or a scrape on your toeses. Germs make us sick, the teacher explained, but after we catch them, it takes a few days. Once they've invaded, they copy themselves, and after that process, you'll feel unwell. Their goal is to spread to many more people. Some ride out on coughs. Some surf out on sneezes. One boy raised a hand to ask her a question. His other hand he was closely inspecting. He said, If it is true that germs are so small, how can they possibly hurt me at all? Even if I look and squint my left eye, I can't see a germ as much as I try. A teacher replied, Germs are so little that they can't be seen. Without people using microscopic machines, the student looked doubtful at what she had said, but decided to keep his thoughts in his head. He thought, Why should I wash? I see nothing there. Washing takes time, and I have none to spare. When school was done, he thought up a plan of how he would prove that germs are a scam. He rubbed both his hands all over the bus, believing no reason for the cleanliness fuss. He thought, now I've decided I'm not going to wash, and I've made up my mind I also won't floss. The holiday passed, and when it was done, the students returned, all of them but one. Come Monday morning, the boy was not there. His desk remained empty, and so was his chair. When class was over, his friends gave him a call. They were quite worried. It wasn't like him at all. He answered the phone with a mighty achoo, cause over the break he'd come down with the flu. He'd ached and he quaked through most of the break. He had to admit he had made a mistake. He said to his friends, wearing a mask is a good thing to do and wash your hands often so you won't get sick too.